Pentagon rejects president's request for huge military-style farewell parade with crowd of supporters hours before Biden's inauguration President Donald Trump wants a military-style farewell parade as he exits office on Wednesday. To include a massive crowd of his supporters two senior defense offices insist that the Pentagon will not participate in any such event Trump will vacate the White House on Wednesday. January 20 as Joe Biden is sworn in during a close to the public inauguration more than 20,000 members of the National Guard were deployed to Washington, D.C. after the Capitol storming earlier this month they will remain in the nation's capital until at least after inauguration day the Pentagon will break with recent tradition by refusing to engage in an armed forces farewell or throw Donald Trump's requested military-style parade as the president leaves office on Wednesday. Trump wants an extravagant goodbye, not unlike the exuberance he exuded during his presidency, despite his recent fallout of favor with middle-of-the-line Republicans following the storming of the Capitol earlier this month, which Democrats impeached him for last Wednesday claiming he incited an insurrection. The president wanted his departure from Washington to involve a military-style send-off and a crowd of supporters, a person who has discussed the matter with Trump told CNN. Two senior defense officials told Defense One that no military farewell is being planned for the commander-in-chief. President Donald Trump wants a military-style farewell parade as he exits office, but the Pentagon said it will not participate in any such event. Trump has often pushed military parades during his presidency as a show of U.S. power. He finally hosted one of these costly parades on Independence Day 2019. Millions were diverted from other funds to host the Salute to America parade two summers ago as tanks rolled through the streets of the nation's capital and military aircraft participated in a flyover of the National Mall. The event included a speech from Trump and the traditional fireworks show. The whole ordeal was a massive break in tradition from Washington's usual annual celebration of U.S. independence. It isn't clear if Trump wanted his farewell parade to take place at the White House. Joint Base Andrews are his final destination of Palm Beach, but the issue is moot now that the Pentagon says it won't participate regardless. When Trump's term officially ends at noon on Joe Biden's inauguration day, Wednesday, January 20, Trump expects to be at his Mar-a-Lago club in South Florida or playing at his nearby golf course. Trump has still not conceded that he lost the election to Biden, but has repeatedly vowed there will be a peaceful transition of power. Ever since Ronald Reagan's presidency, the Department of Defense has hosted an Armed Forces farewell tribute as president's terms come to a close. The ceremonies include members of the military getting to meet or see the president in person and usually their commander-in-chief exhibits his appreciation for their commitment and sacrifice. This president, however, is not participating in any of the traditional end-of-term events. On Saturday, Vice President Mike Pence delivered remarks to sailors at Naval Air Station Lammer, and will visit on Sunday the 10th Mountain Division in Fort Drum, New York. On Wednesday, the White House announced Pence's upcoming plans, claiming his remarks would celebrate the Trump administration's historic foreign policy achievements. In a show of bitterness, Trump will also not engage in any handoff rituals that incumbents typically do to welcome newly elected presidents such as leaving a letter of advice to the new president or hosting a one-on-one -on -one conversation. President-elect Biden's inauguration celebration is being closed to the public because of the chaos at the Capitol on January 6, which left five dead, after Trump riled up his supporters at a rally near the White House. In the last few weeks, more than 20,000 National Guard troops were deployed to the nation's capital and will continue patrolling the streets of Washington, D.C. until at least inauguration. The FBI is also tracking several threats of violence, including a rumored plan for thousands of armed patriots to descend on the Capitol or White House.